Shaggy, no pants. You must be Peter Rabbit. Yeah, that's right. Wait, didn't you try to eat me? Show me your teeth. Do like a go, like. Uh, don't worry about children and their appetite for reading when there's so many other things at, at, at your disposal, whether that's phones or iPads or laptops, computers, watching TV whenever you want when it's on. I, I really think it's very important that, that children understand how important it is to be able to read and be read too, you know? I've read Peter Rabbit to my children. I've read The Mr. Men by Roger Hargreaves, which I very much grew up with. Winnie the Pooh books that I can remember being read to me. And uh, this, you know, Beatrix Potter's Peter Rabbit books is, is very, very um, important where I grew up in, in Britain and is, is one of those sort of rites of passage that you either read yourself or are read by your parents or both, you know. And it's so simple for me because it was legitimately the first book I was ever given as a gift by my godmother. Um, and it was a big volume of it and and we, t we I grew up in, in France but we moved to Australia and it was one of the things that definitely came with us and I still have it now and she wrote in it. So it's really seminal to me. It was the, you know, I, I think when, when you, you I think you remember your first, first really books. And I also, you know, because I, I was a child, I mean, I really deeply remember the illustrations and how magic they were. I really latched onto the triplets, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. And Jemima Puddle Duck too was my favorite. And I think that, I think, I mean, it's beautiful because girls and boys love Peter, but I remember as a young girl, I really loved those triplets too. And I have a younger sister and yeah. I think, I think what's magic about the story and the characters is that kids can really project themselves into it. Oh! Cottontail, take the bag. Mm. Just give him a wet willy. 